Strepsiptera are a fairly obscure group that tend to be very rare in insect collections. And uh, we only have a, a few specimens of them in our collection here at the Academy. Um, what at first glance might appear to be a specimen tray containing a number of wasps uh, actually contains wasps plus much smaller parasitic insects embedded in the wasp's body. The male Strepsipterin has compound eyes like many insects and it has a functional pair of hind wings that it uses for flight. And they have really the most remarkable eyes of any insect I've ever seen. Quite extraordinary. The, the eyes look like they're a cluster of little jewels. A female Strepsipterin doesn't have wings or eyes or legs or even functional mouth parts. It just looks like a sort of a, a blob. Now what these things do, they're endoparasites and they can only survive living and growing within the body of their host. This is a, a specimen of a Vespid wasp and it has three female Strepsipterins embedded in its abdomen. The species that are parasites of wasps and bees will wait till their host is actually visiting a flower, sipping nectar or collecting pollen on a flower, and then they will hitch a ride back to the colony. And once they are in the wasp nest or the beehive, they seek out the, the immatures, they find the bee larvae, and burrow in and start a new generation. The only Strepsipterans that actually disperse at all are the winged males. They form a pupa lodged in the abdomen of the host, just like the females that we were looking at. But they burst out of that pupal shell and they can fly around for a few hours to look and find, look for and find a mate. And that is the, the Strepsipteran life cycle. <laughs>